I've been a wine critic for over 30 years, and most people think it's just a fun job, and it is, but it's a lot of work. Some days I can taste 30, 40, even 100 wines. In a year, it may add up to 6,000 wines. In fact, probably in my life, I've tasted over 150,000 wines, so it's a challenge. A wine glass, for me, is an essential tool. It's like a great violinist with his Stradivarius or a famous writer with his favorite pen. And I feel like there's something consistent in using a glass. I like to carry the same glass with me around the world tasting because I feel confident with it. Last year I created a wine glass with the famous French crystal maker Lalique. The idea was to make a glass that was not only functional but beautiful. Because for me, tasting a wine is experiencing a wine. It's more than just actually the taste. It's the feel. It's the beauty. It's the sensation. It's aesthetics. And a leak delivers that in every sense of all those words. René Lalique began designing jewelry at the turn of the 20th century. His main idea was to uh, create beauty uh, accessible to everyone. To achieve this, uh, of course, he was an amazing artist, but also he had the idea to, to use different kind of materials. Materials like semi-precious stones, and at some point he started using uh, enamels and glass. Last year, I created the Lalique James Suckling 100 points universal wine glass. But people wanted more. They wanted more glasses. They wanted a champagne flute, a Bordeaux glass, a burgundy glass, even a whiskey glass. So I decided to see what it would take to create the perfect 100 points glass collection. Well, the main inspiration behind the Lalique James Suckling 100 points collection comes from uh, the Wingen tableware, which uh, represents a decanter, a few glasses, and they have on the surface very thin and very precise ribs running from the top to, to the bottom of the stem uh, and also of the, on the, the bowl of the decanter. As René Lalique, uh, women was one of his main inspiration and I can say that uh, it's also uh, a big part of this uh, design. Uh, we tried to, to create something quite feminine, very sensual. En fait, c'est une, une usine qui est en fait une, un site industriel qui rassemble des artisans, qui rassemble de, de, des artisans et des artistes qui fabriquent les pièces à la main. 
Au verre chaud, nous n'avons pas de machine pour fabriquer les verres, ce verre est soufflé et c'est une fabrication totalement manuelle, euh, ce qui caractérise la ligue et on veut rester dans ce, dans ce raffinement. Moi je pense qu'on a le bonheur et la chance de travailler dans une usine où on fait l'excellence, des superbes produits et il faut être digne de ça. C'est une tradition, c'est un savoir-faire, c'est la richesse de nos mains, des, la main, les mains des gens qui travaillent ici. C'est durant des années que ça s'est accumulé et ça a été au départ, c'était l'énergie de M. Lalic qui a, qui, a, qui a démarré tout ça. Et, et ça a été cultivé, ça a été exploité, dans le bon sens du terme, durant des années. Et aujourd'hui, on, on, on est tous ici fiers de, de, de cette image lalique qui est exceptionnelle. Look at the, the bubbles coming up perfectly. And what I like about this glass is the feel. You know, it's yeah. really substantial. What I thought would be the first thing to try is an incredible champagne like the Dom Perignon 1995. Age, rich, fantastic wine. Smell it and you're getting yeasts, mm, the bread dough. Are, the flavors are beautiful. Mm. This is an Aubryon Blanc 2006. An amazing white wine, one of the best in the world, in our universal wine glass. The glass just focuses in on the fruit, which for me is important as a taster. I want a wine or a glass that really focuses on the wine properly, doesn't pull it apart, doesn't change the actual character of the wine. It should be functional, but not overly functional. And that's what I think we achieved here. So now we're tasting a 2000 Bruno Giacosa Barolo Rocca del Faletto. This is a wine I gave 100 points to. And I thought, we have to drink this from the Burgundy glass because Burgundy glasses work really well with Barolos and Barbarescos. So Mark, now we have the Cheval Blanc 1995. I mean, Cheval Blanc is an amazing wine. Of course, I did decanted it first in our 100 point decanter. I think it's an amazing piece of art. How, look how the light shines it's into it. Fabulous. Look how it, it dresses up. You know, it's just superb. Mark, you know, when I taste the Sikem, it's one of the greatest wines in the world. Probably the greatest sweet wine in the world. And I think to myself, our voyage, what we achieved over two years, first we made the universal 100-point glass, then we made the Lalique James Suckling 100 points collection. And I think to myself, for 30 years, I wanted to make something that we actually made. And I have to thank you, it's just crazy. We've achieved it. Lalique had the history, the know-how, the design, and we worked together with my background, my knowledge, my passion. Thank you so much. Santé. Cheers. <laughs>